Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habakatillah A question was asked from one of our beloved brothers May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al-nafi wa riskin tayyib wa amla mutaqabila and bless us all with cure from our various ailments and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be believers in him and to meet him on khayr the question was assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ya Sheikh, may Allah preserve you upon good. I have benefited tremendously from your videos and I ask Allah to bless you and your family and keep you steadfast upon the correct minhaj until we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah bless us all. Ameen. And forgive us all. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. <clears throat> my question is in regards to my non-practicing male cousin who is suffering from magic. He has seen many doctors and all of them are stumped because this is something supernatural. He is all the signs of jinn possession. These sufferings have led him to get a bit closer to Allah. However, as he has memorized the last two ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah, tries to listen to Quran sometimes, however, he still does not pray, is involved in haram, and has some major flaws in his aqidah, stemming mostly from ignorance and not being exposed to the deen for most of his life. Nor does he know the Fatiha, nor how to pray, which I am encouraging him to learn. I myself do not have experience in Rukya, Apart from watching a few videos on the subject and reading from some authentic sources, I know how to recite Quran and I know the authentic du'as that the Prophet ﷺ used. I'm wondering whether it is advisable for me to treat him or whether you advise me to try and find someone more knowledge in the, knowledge, uh, knowledgeable in the field. Jazakallah khairan, your brother. Wa iyaakum. And my advice in this situation, first and foremost, is keep trying your best to teach him the basics, meaning Surah Al-Fatiha, Lazim. He must learn Surah Al-Fatiha. This, in and of itself, these things are going to be a part of his cure. And how to pray. And do your best to encourage him to pray. Because the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, Man taraka salat, falaysa, man taraka salat, Whoever has left the prayer has disbelieved. So the scholars, a lot of tafsil in this, but there are, uh, especially the Hanabila, who believe that the one who has left the prayer, uh, that they are a disbeliever out of laziness or what have you. So the point being is we know that there's a severe wa'id. And that a person who doesn't pray is in a serious state, if not uh, at best being a fasak, a serious fasak, and at worst being a disbeliever. So this is first and foremost, probably the most important thing is to work with them with tawheed, you know, teaching them basics, just basic. Let's let's both acknowledge Allah is only is, is one, and He's the only one worthy of worship, and we will pray to Him, and we will fast. Uh, for him and to him and we will do our acts of ibadah the five pillars of islam you know going over things like this and trying to get them to have an interest and be patient upon that path so keep working just with tawheed and try to be around if you can uh with the times for prayer to snatch him up and have him pray with you uh secondly Yes, definitely. Get, go to the local masjid. Uh, I don't know which country you're in. If you're in America or you're in the UK, I don't know, or what have you. And go and seek out someone who has knowledge in these affairs and can help you, can help do ruqya on your cousin. But of course, there probably needs to be a willingness from your cousin. So these are just some of the things, uh, the limited advice that I can ad advise you. But yeah, seek uh, help from those who have khibra, who have knowledge, and they have experience in this. They have experience in dealing with the jinn. Uh, and so many of the communities, alhamdulillah, there are, or, or there are communities anyway, I should say, in America and all over that have this experience. And so you need to seek out uh, assistance with your brothers. But also read over him too. Read yourself reading Fatih and reading... Uh, and, and, and the various ways of doing ruqya over him 
and just encouraging him and teaching him, going over some things about Tawheed and the Salat and just encouraging him as much as possible. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless this individual to be cured and upon the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas and thabat ala sunnah and our families and our children and our parents and all of our companions. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.